What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and as promised, I have power leveled my tethers and even threw some emblems on her so we can test her out today. But first, make sure to check out Gemstone Legends. It's a match three RPG game and there are thousands of empires and puzzles players already over there playing it because it is so awesome. Make sure to use the link in the description of this video and you'll get a bunch of bonus materials and a free hero. Okay, just as a reminder, I'm gonna go through Tethys' card, but if you want a full breakdown um, and to find out her grade, make sure to go watch my other video uh, where I um, analyzed her right after getting her for free off of one Atlantis summon um, off of the free coins. Uh, so I was really excited about that and to do a video like this. So she's a five-star blue hero, ranger class, um, and she's part of the Atlantis family. So uh, you can have up to five Atlantis heroes um, to get uh, that plus five, 10, 15, 20, and 25% increase in defense. Um, so... You know, my stats are a little different because I've put 15 emblems on her, but 916 attack right now. I, I did go the attack path, by the way. 800 defense and 1,514 HP. Amphibious Assault is the special at fast speed. Deals 300% damage to the target and nearby enemies. The target and nearby enemies receive 438 water damage over three turns. And that is no joke. In addition to the 300% like straight up physical damage, this water damage... Um, it's sneaky. Uh, it does a lot of damage over uh, a number of turns considering that she is a fast hero. Um, all allies that are not of Ice Element get plus 30% attack for three turns. That's a really awesome benefit, but of course what's even better is all Ice allies get plus 60% attack for three turns, which I think makes her an excellent, excellent offensive hero when you're stacking multiple blues. So let's find out. All right, so I'm going to start off with this team. As you can see, I have Frida, Tethys, and Alice here, and that is so that I can um, you have a 1-2-3 punch of elemental defense down, then Tethys' uh, attack, and then, um, uh, of course, Tethys will also increase the attack of all the blue allies by 60%, and then the others uh, by 30%, so the purple heroes. Um, Alice is just there to clean up uh, whoever's left, um, and then also I wanted to make sure I had to spell and cleanse, cleanse, especially against this team where there's a friggin' and morel. Um, so I have regard and Sashat here to uh, take out any dispelling. So we'll start off with this and see how it goes. Not a lot of blue to start out with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make this match here. All right. So we got another blue match here. Um, we do have two more purple matches, which I think I want to go for, uh, and this should set up more blue as well. So we don't need to cleanse quite yet. Let's just try to take out morale. All right. Should I go for the yellow diamond yet? I think I may. I can cleanse on the next turn. All right, we have some uh, blues bunching up on the left side. We also have some on the right side since um, it looks like uh, Phalene's going to go off here. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's just hit the front three. So now we have the increased attack. Oh, it was just not enough. That's so frustrating. Uh, 
Oh man. Well, Agrafina is gonna go off anyway. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I wanted to see. All right. Oh man, that attack is strong. That is good. That is good. All right, and then we'll just let Frig kill herself. <laughs> nice. I thought it would be cool to uh, take on this team that has a lot of costumes and things here. Um, interestingly, we have a Kong up front here uh, who should be taking a mouthful of blue tiles. Uh, hopefully we can kill him pretty quickly. Um, we can set up three blue matches. So I think I'm going to focus on that. Here's one. Two. And three. be able to take out Krampus now. Fantastic. Let's see if I can... Hmm. I don't want to mess up any of the matches that are left here, because there's a few good ways to do this. Um, I think the best one is actually this match to see if I can get another blue tile in. Nah. But I can, I can go now easily. Now let's move on and try a 4-1 team. This time I've taken out Sasha and I brought in Athena. This way I have elemental defense down, like a regular defense down, and then Tethys' uh, increased attack, and then, of course, uh, we'll have Alice to clean up. Fortunately, it looks like we have a blue diamond right underneath Octros. That's, that's really nice. <laughs> so we'll try that. All right, let's take out Nopod. I'm going to go in order from left to right. Here's the thing. So Frida's going to do the big elemental defense down, the blue defense down, which means Athena's hit is going to do more damage. Um, and then the two types of defense down will be there for Tethys. And uh, Alice should be able to kill whoever she wants then. She might not be able to just straight up kill a fully healed he hero, but, <laughs> but I didn't even need Alice to kill any of the remaining heroes uh, that were affected um, by the first three. And now we can just ghost. Goodbye.
Okay, now I thought that um, it would be interesting to take on this team because there's two yellows and three reds. And I'm going with a mono blue team, so hopefully this works out for me. Um, but basically, if I get three blue matches, I should win. If I don't, well, things aren't going to go well. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's try out mono blue here and see how it goes. Hopefully we can get through the first two yellow heroes and then let the blue tiles shred the heroes behind them. Um, I'm going to start out with this match just because I'm hoping for a little cascade. <laughs> Nice. All right. It's going to be tough to get more uh, blues back on the board, though. So let's just work on making matches near the top to, you know, hopefully cause little cascades and some blues to bunch. Good. There's one. Um, see, I don't know if I want to make the blue match at the bottom right, uh, because I'm going to be kind of stranded on blue tiles again. It's certainly tempting. Let's try to set up for, um... A better blue match because if I make the purple match, it's suggesting I'll have a blue on the top left, and then hopefully I can get some more blue tiles on the bottom right or in the middle. All right, race is on. Nice. Hmm. Can I win this? Well, we got to try. All right, come on, Tethys. Let's see if Tethys can uh, try to win this on her own. I only have one blue tile, so it's a race against time. Oof, I am not liking my chances here. Can I do it? I just had to not straight up die from... A grave maker there. Um, this is going to be a close call. Um, he's got 67 left. It's actually not going to be a close call. He's going to receive 165 water damage. So it doesn't matter. I win. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Well, that was close. That was really close. Um, but Tethys pulled it out even after two heroes died. Ariel, just enough healing and cleansing to keep me alive there. So I'll tell you what, Tethys feels really strong, and um, this was just a uh, this was just raids, but the way that Tethys felt, it just feels like she's going to be really, really nice to use against Red Titans uh, for that increased attack when you're taking all blue heroes. So I'm really excited for that as well. All right, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live, and I will catch you in the next one.